Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I am talking about summer solstice 2022, the first day of summer. Do you know about the first day of summer? What is solstice? Everything you should know about the longest day of the year. In 2022, the June solstice occurs on Tuesday, June 21st, marking the astronomical first day of summer. Do you know what happens on the solstice? Do the days get long, longer or shorter? Is the earliest sunrise? How do we celebrate the solstice? Get ready with solstice facts, fun and more. The June solstice In the northern hemisphere, the June solstice occurs when the sun travels along its northernmost uh, path in the sky. This marks the astronomical start of summer in the northern half of the globe. In the, in the southern hemisphere, it's the opposite the June solstice marks the astronomical start of winter when the sun is at its lowest point in the sky. When is the summer solstice? The June solstice occurs on Tuesday, June 21st, 2022 at 5.14 am. The solstice marks the official beginning of summer in the northern hemisphere occurring when Earth arrives at the point in its orbit where the North Pole is at its maximum tilt about 23.5 degrees towards the Sun, resulting in the longest day and shortest night of the calendar year. By longest day, we mean the longest period of sunlight hours. On the day of the June solstice, the Northern Hemisphere receives sunlight at the most direct angle of the year. In the Southern Hemisphere, the June solstice marks the beginning of winter. What is summer solstice? Do you know? In the northern hemisphere, the June solstice occurs when the sun reaches its highest and northernmost point in the sky. It marks the start of summer in the northern half of the globe. In contrast, the June solstice in the southern hemisphere is when the sun is at its lowest point in the sky, marking the start of winter. The word solstice comes from Latin solstium from sol, sun and stitium still or stop. Due to earth tilt axis, the sun doesn't rise and set at the same locations on the horizon each morning and evening. Its rise and set positions move northward or southward in the sky as earth travels around the sun through the year. Also the sun track in the sky becomes higher or lower throughout the year. The June solstice is significant because the sun reaches its northern mode point in the sky at the sun, at which point the sun's path does not change for a brief period of time. After the solstice, the sun appears to reverse course and head uh, back in the opposite direction. The motion referred to here is uh, the apparent path of the sun, when one views its position in the sky at the same time is day. For example, at local noon, over the year, its path forms a short of flattened figure 8 called an anamela. Of course, the sun itself is not moving uh, unless you consider its own orbit around the Milky Way galaxy. Instead, this change in position in the sky that we on Earth notice is caused by the tilt of Earth's axis as it orbits the sun, as well as Earth's elliptical rather than circular orbit. Does the solstice always occur on the same day? The timing of the June solstice is not based on a specific calendar date or time. It all depends on when the sun reaches its northernmost uh, point from the celestial equator. Therefore, the solstice won't always occur on the same day. Currently, it shifts between June 20, 21st and 22nd. The year longest day. The summer solstice is the day with the longest period of sunlight. Notice how the sun appears highest in the sky at the solstice, its rays strike earth at a more direct angle, causing the efficient warming we call sun. Because the sun is highest in the sky on this day, you will notice that your shadow at local or solar noon, not clock time noon is the shortest that it will be all year. Local noon is when the sun crosses the local meridian and imaginary line between the north and south poles and is the highest in the sky for the day. For those who live in southern hemisphere, this is the shortest day of the year and marks of the arrival of winter. 
Is the summer solstice the first day of summer? Yes and no. Technically, it depends on whether we are speaking about the meteorological or astronomical start of the season. Most meteorological uh, uh, divide the year into four seasons based on the months and the temperature cycle, which allows them to compare and analyze climate data more easily. Now, is the summer solstice the longest day of the year? Yes. As spring ends and summer begins, the daily periods of sunlight lengthen to their longest on the solstice and begin to shorten again. On the solstice, the sun is at its highest point in the sky and it takes longer for it to rise and to set. Go strawberry picking and enjoy a big ball of strawberries and cream on the solstice. There are many people. Uh, like the Swedes who celebrate the beginning of summer by eating the first strawberries of the season, indulging in some strawberries and cream is the perfect way to celebrate the June solstice. Since June's full moon is also known as strawberry moon. It typically consisted with the ripening of the strawberries in what is now the northern, eastern and mid-western United States. In, in fact, in many states this is the perfect time to go strawberry picking. Look up, pick up your own strawberry farms in your area. Have a solstice evening bonfire. Many northern people also celebrate a solstice holiday known as Neat Summer Day on the June 24, which is one of the four and set quarter days of the year. Did you know that the sun actually sets more slowly around the time of a solstice and that it takes longer to set below the horizon? This is related to the angle of the setting sun. The farther the sun sets from the due west along the horizon, the shallower the angle of the setting sun. Bottom line, enjoy those long romantic summertime sunsets at or near the solstice. So hope you like this video, then do like, comment, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon for more latest videos. Thanks for watching.